morning, friend! Welcome to another Subi Shares video with me on a beautiful day. Hashtag Team All Blit, hashtag No Blit Left Behind, guys. Thank you so much for clicking into my video and for joining me. All I can say today, guys, is hashtag Squad Goals, guys. Squad Goals coming through. Thank you so much for being here on the regs. We're on day 16, if you've been following it, day 16 of the weather games and of the month. So welcome to it. It's going to be awesome. The day looks like it's going to be beautiful. It's shaping up really nice. And today's got day, guys. You ready for this? It's flex day. Get your muscles out, your wet shaving muscles. And let's see what you guys have got in your den. It's all about being the bougiest of bougie, showing off and showcasing your nicest, highest end gear over on Reddit today, guys. That is the challenge on Reddit. And today we're taking it up a notch. Let me tell you something. On the squad channel, guys, I didn't want to let you guys down for, for flex day. I didn't want to be like, you know, I'm using something pretty generic. Today, guys, we're going outside the box. And when I say outside the box, guys, we're grabbing this right here. We're grabbing ourselves a little Johnny Walker blue. That's how we roll. And we're putting it in our shave scuttle, guys. I want to showcase some pictures in the corner here. I did bloom the soap in a very nice vintage. Uh, it's not actually vintage. It's just Johnny Walker. It, it, it's Johnny Walker blue, right? Real nice whiskey. And then I added some gold leafing. Uh, gold leafing, guys. We added the 24 karat gold to our lather today. We added the 18 karat gold to our lather today. And a little bit of silver just to make sure that all three were incorporated. We lathered it up with our mammoth tusk and resin Ch um, chisel and hound brush, guys. With our chisel and hound brush that they made uh, just a limited few of, guys. And we've got it lathered up today. Lathered up beautifully. We're using Aqua de Parma, guys. Aqua de Parma. This is a Neiman Marcus uh, soap. You can get over a Neiman Marcus. I actually got the sample from Maggard's. It's a nice soap. A nice, nice soap. But the problem is, is when you bloom your tire with your uh, your soap and bourbon, and then you lather it with bourbon, guys. When you lather and bloom with bourbon, you know what you can smell? You smell a little bit of soap and a little bit of bourbon. A lot of bourbon, guys. And it smells vanilla and sweet, but that's mostly from the bourbon. It turned out real nice. The actual leafing, guys. Look what the leafing did to my soap, guys. I made so much. And let me tell you something. If we're going ritzy and bougie, you got to make a lot of soap, guys. What do you think here? Let's put it on. Let's make sure it's not just a farce here. Let's make sure. Look at this. Look at this stuff, guys. We are shiny. We are shining, right? As they say on the on the meme, guys. When one of us shines, all of us shine, guys. What do you think of this nonsense? So we're doing it. We're getting it done. We're doing this in the Moonscape Scuttle, by the way, guys. Moonscape Scuttle. You can go below. Get that on my shop. Guys, I am a huge fan of that scuttle. I love that scuttle. We're going to go on top of the Aqua de Parma today with snake bite. And the reason why, guys, I don't have any really expensive splashes. I just don't. Splashes aren't something I've really invested in. And for me, they're usually just to kind of help get my skin happy throughout the day. Snake bite is a menthol forward and it has a lot of uh, menthol to it. So it's going to really kind of help break up some of this bourbon smell. I've got a lot of bourbon in here, guys. In order to get over the bourbon smell, you know what I mean? In order to get over, maybe not even get over it. Maybe we, we bring it all in. We're going club straight up, guys. This is like the club scent of the 2020. We're going black off Gano, but Masamato, guys. Black off Gano, as my wife puts it, black avocado. We're using the black off Gano by Masamato, guys. This is a very extremely expensive scent. <laughs> very, very, very pricey. I've used it a few times. I really like this. A very, very nice high-end um, fragrance. And today we're using the real thing. Real thing! No dupes, no clones, no straight-up nonsense here. No Subi snow jobs, as I like to put it. We're using this straight up, guys. We're going wild with it. Yes! Who are you stoked? Okay, I want to give a huge shout out because this other part would not be possible without John's help, guys. John and I met up a couple days ago, like a couple weeks ago, actually. And we were talking, we, we did a little, you know, shavers meetup. And he introduced me to the Timeless Titanium, beautiful TI-95 scalloped comb polish scalloped cap, guys, razor. This is a beautiful Razor with the crown handle, guys. Look at this! Look! Yes! I've got it loaded up today on the Subi Hat Cam angle with the Derby P 
premium blacks because we got you something premium right they're actually really cheap blades guys they're super cheap but i love them um very medium not super sharp not super aggressive very very medium blades i love and they're really good in this razor really nice in this razor i've used this razor for face shaves and a body shave i believe just a body shave so honestly i'm really excited to give this a test on the head i got the razor right before the lather games and i've just been waiting to use it on the dome with you guys on channel so we've got gold leaf silver leaf 1824 carat in our lather today we're gonna get to work guys we got 30 hours of stubble and we got very little time today to knock it down let's do it together shall we yes get excited i know i am i hope you guys are enjoying this because really honestly again this is so over the top it's it's satirical right it is satirical at its finest let's get it done guys beautiful razor absolutely so nimble i mean this may be satire guys but the razor itself is nothing to joke about it is so smooth so comfortable this is skittle me luckies right here this right here is the tootsie rolls of twizzlers guys this right here is amazing my buddy i had another friend that said i don't know if you're gonna like that razor it's really aggressive and i'm not a fan let me tell you something guys if you're looking at the timeless don't look anywhere else but the timeless titanium category. I feel like this would be a little bit more too overburning with uh, stainless. It would be a little too aggressive for me in stainless. And I really like it like this, guys. I really like the nimble nature of the titanium. Um, on their website, guys, on Timeless's website, they say that this is a medium aggressive razor. In my opinion, this is a high medium aggressive razor. I feel like if they're going to say it's a medium aggressive, that's fine. It's definitely a step down. You can see some of the gold leaving right here. You guys see that gold leaving? It's from. It's a definitely a step down from the um, 41 for me, guys. But it's a small step. I want to mention that, guys. I feel like too many people are saying it's a, a medium aggressive razor when really it's a small step from the um, 41 uh, from Mule, guys. It is definitely efficient. It does have some bite and it does have an angle that it likes to be at for me. I use a steeper angle. I'm not using that 30 degree angle that we all tote and talk about, guys. I use like a 35 to 40 degree angle. I use a very steep angle with this razor, honestly, for my head shaves and it likes it that way. I don't know why, but it's very smooth that way and very comfortable. For all you guys out there that are like, oh no, the brush is going to be ruined. Just so you guys know, I am using Leaf that is edible. It's actually um, a leaf that you can use in like food and things like that, right? Any of you guys that have used Golden Schlager, it's the same, same stuff, kind of stuff, so it should be fine. I am not that worried about it at all. John's razor will be just fine. And guys, honestly, this razor is one that I, after I, I tried it out, right, I said, get out of town, take your bags, pack them up, this will kill your rad, right? Razor acquisition disorder. It will kill it. You will never have it again. You'll be like, yeah, I don't ever need to buy anything else. That's how I felt when I used it, right? And I told my wife that. I said, wow, this is really nice. She goes, you say that all the time. Give it to me. So she's showering, right? She grabs it, takes and like two minutes later, I hear, this is really sweet. It's so light. It's so nimble. And it's such an accurate shave. She it was like, okay, I can see the merit behind it. We need one. So I am considering, guys, I am saving up, right? It is in the saving category for me at that price point. Um, but it is one that I am really, really, really avidly saving for. It is one that I would love to own in for forever. Not for just the channel's sake, not for just, you know, for video's sake, but because I like the way it shaves, right? This is a very, very nimble, accurate, very efficient, comfortable shaver that I really can't get enough of. Today we're using a little bit of cold water in the sink, guys. Um, just because I'm feeling like the cold water today would be a nice compliment to the, the boozy, like fiery um, lather, right? I was not sure. It ends up being really comfortable today. I am just absolutely in love with this razor. I love it. I think it's phenomenal. I think if you were to say, Subes, you know, what's it worth getting rid of? I think, honestly, I would consider selling, if I had to, you know, if I had to, if it came down to it, my Timeless ti um, Titanium Henson for this, because I like the way this shaves a little bit better. The crown handle, guys, is really nice. And you can see, I'm going right over my bug bite and not having any issues, no catching, no bleeding. It is a very, very comfortable shave, guys. Very comfortable for as efficient as it is. You guys can see here, I'm not pulling any punches. One thing that does bug me about this razor, and I will mention, I mentioned it to my wife, is that you do have to snip the blade wings. It does not cover blade wings, guys. And you know my opinions on that. I really think at this price point, and it being modern, it should cover the blade tabs. I really think that all razors should go that way. Uh, my personal opinion here. 
But um, I know some people out there like the blade tabs for straightening purposes and to make sure that everything is level and lined up. I understand that. I just feel like at this point in modern shaving, we shouldn't have to trim blade wings, right? If we don't want them. I think we should have an option. Maybe we release a second razor cap that recovers blade wings. I don't know. I think it would be not too hard to increase by two millimeters or something on both sides so that we don't, we can have like an extra large timeless or something that covers the blade tabs. I would buy that. I think that's actually the one thing that can make it better. And then in its current state. Other than that, guys, it's extremely smooth. I, again, would not opt to buy this in stainless. I love the nimble nature of the titanium. And honestly, it's not that much more money to jump for the titanium than it is over the um, stainless. I really just like that. I think that's awesome. Like I said, guys, this is a marshmallows only kind of shave for sure. Really comfortable, very close, very nice shave, guys. Very, very fast, very comfortable, very nice. I'm loving that. I, like like they say, you know, like the catchphrase, I'm loving it, man. That is awesome. That was freaking fast. I think we're out. I think we're done. Guys, that is it. I Honestly, that's that's got to be one of our fastest ones, right? That's got to be one of the fastest shaves we've done. We're knocking off the gold leaf, smacking it around, getting that beautiful shave. And honestly, the, the bourbon did not make things worse. I definitely think that made things a little bit nicer for Flex Day, guys. For Flex Day, I hope you guys are enjoying this content. I have loved producing it. It has been nothing but fun. I'm trying to get outside the box on some of these challenges. You know what I mean? Really, really up the game. Try to take home the badge for us, guys. Take home something. Um, even if it's just a thank you for contributing, right? Even if it's just a you did a good job with contributing, getting a shout out over there. I would be absolutely stoked about that. Taking off a little bit more just with the cleanup pass here. Just a little bit extra work. Really nice. The crown handle is so nimble, so easy, and so accurate, guys. I just love the way the crown handle fits in my hand. Wow. Yeah, I'm telling you guys, when we got this razor out, we were sat it down. We were chatting about it. And a couple people on another table were like, what is that? Can I hold it? And I actually let this other guy hold the razor, guys, um, that was eating next to us. We let this other guy who's just like, that is so beautiful. I have to be able, I, I have to see that. Can I hold it? It was so freaking cool, guys. The timeless drew so much attention that people across the bar, right? The, across the coffee bar we were at wanted to take wanted to take it for a test run, wanted to hold it and see it. That tells you something, right? When people can just admire the craftsmanship without actually even having to use the razor. That says something about premium. I talk a lot about not having to purchase your perfect shave, right? You don't have to spend a ton of money to get a perfect shave. I still believe that, right? But I think in this case, this razor really conceptualizes, really ideals the term um, premium. I really do. I think when you're buying something like this, your, your goal, your end goal is to have a razor that is fiddle free and fantastic. And other than trimming the blade wings, which I think this is more personal thing, it comes flawless out of the box, guys. It comes flawless. It shaves flawlessly. And I think, honestly, it's even though it's probably for a more skilled shaver, right? Somebody that doesn't necessarily um, flinch at blade fill, right? Because it does have some blade fill to it. Um, I think that's really going to be your caveat here. They do make another base plate. They make a lower one and even a higher one, right? They release the slim blaze plate that has a more, more aggressiveness nature to it. So they do make some other ones. I can't say on that one, guys. I am looking at purchasing the Timeless um, set, which is they, they're their full set so that we can kind of compare them and contrast them. Again, just saving up for that, guys, because it is a big purchase. Um, I really love the shave. Honestly, it's nothing but the finest, if you ask me. I really think Timeless nailed it. Um, Timeless, honestly, when I used it and felt it across the skin, guys, I was like, I just don't see another reason for another thing. I really like it. I'm going three squirts on the black Afghano, guys. We're going crazy with it. Usually, I'm a one squirt guy with this stuff. It's potent. It's strong. And I'm ready for the club, guys. We did flex day. I hope this was interesting for you and exciting. Gold leaf, whiskey. What else could you want? Guys, thank you so much. Serious shout out again. Much love to my buddy, John, for letting me enjoy and test out his beautiful timeless. I am going to regret having to send it back in this polished finish. Oh, I got to get me one. Thank you, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Soups out.